Okay, we are ready to find out what happens in the second half of our story. I have my annotating tool ready to go, so let's listen in. Ya Shen asked the bones for help. Her old dress and shoes disappeared immediately. In their place were a beautiful dress and golden slippers. At the festival, Ya Shen was noticed by all, even the king. However, Ya Shen saw her stepsister staring at her, so she ran off quickly. As she did, one of her slippers fell off. Okay, so these had some important details that I would like to underline. Her old clothing magically turned into a beautiful dress and golden slippers. And she went to the festival and everyone noticed her, even the king. But what happened when her sister started being mean to her, she ran off and one of her slippers fell off. So I think this would be a very important middle key detail. Let's find out what happens in the end. The king wanted to find the slippers owner. Every woman came to the palace to try it on, but no one's foot could fit. One night, Ya Shen crept in. She grabbed the slipper and returned home. She didn't see the king following her. When the king saw that the slipper fit her, he proposed. Naturally, they lived happily ever after. Okay, so the king wanted to find the slipper who it belonged to, but no one's foot could fit it. Doesn't this remind you of another story too, boys and girls? And after that, She didn't notice that the king was following her home, but what happened was when the when he figured out that the slipper fit her foot, he knew she was the one and they proposed or he proposed, which means he asked her to marry him. And like all good fairy tales, they lived happily ever after. So that's what would happen in the end. So if you're retelling this story to somebody at home, a story of the Shen, you could look back at your stars and underlines to tell them what happened. That was important in the beginning and the middle and the end. Great work today, boys and girls.